Hey everyone, it's Bryce here at Nick Rail Music Santa Barbara, and today we're checking out this bass trombone from Eastman. Uh, so this one is the ETB 848. Uh, it's one of their um, more affordable trombones in their lineup, um, at least for bass trombone. And it's aimed more at the intermediate advanced player who doesn't quite want to go up to all of the really custom stuff, you know, with their high-end shires and things like that. Um, so this is really good for uh, maybe students who are looking for an upgrade. If you're going into college, say, and you're like, well, you know, I don't quite want to shell out all the money to go get a super custom instrument, but I want something that's going to last me a long time, play really well. Uh, this is kind of what you'll be going for. Um, so let's start off with some specs, just basic uh, basic stuff here. It's not too complicated. We have a um, yellow brass bell. It's nine and a half inches uh, with a diameter, so pretty standard there. It's got this awesome floral engraving here, uh, which I just love. You know, these kinds of engravings it just looks so sharp. Um, and then pretty standard up until the rotors. So these are just regular um, bass trombone rotors, uh, but they're really nice. You know, they're nice and fast, pretty uh, responsive and they play fairly open as you can see it's got um, open wrap which is pretty standard for bass trombone at least you know because you want that bigger easier sound in the low end um, but yeah they're really nice rotors they play great they feel great uh, and then moving down to the slide we have um, yellow brass sleeves here with a nickel crook which helps give it a slightly brighter sound which i really like as well uh, and then coming up to the top we have lead pipes that are interchangeable so here this um, unscrews and pops out so you can put in different sized lead pipes it actually comes with um, three so you've got uh, two included and one in the instrument um, sizes one through three so one being um, kind of the tightest or the smallest and then three being the largest uh, depending on what you like i've got the two in here right now which is kind of just you know the in between obviously and it's a nice blend of being tight and focused while still open enough that you can get a nice big sound out of it. Um, so some other things we've got these, um, the paddles are actually really similar to their other Shires instruments because um, on my custom Shires actually, and quite a few I've seen nowadays have this style of um, paddle here on the first trigger and the second trigger. So I've kind of got the circular one and then I've got this sort of um, wood um, first trigger, which I, I like a lot. I think just think it looks kind of classy and uh, it feels really good too under the hands This one's really easy to reach even if I've got I've got little hands um, So even then this is still pretty easy for me to reach which is which is really nice um, So let's go ahead and check out the case as well. This one does come with a case. It's pretty nice So let's take a closer look at that All right, so here we've got the case that it comes with uh, you can see it's got the nice Eastman logo there and a nice big pocket so you can store things like music um, also has a strap in here um, you can store accessories other things in that nice big pocket and on the inside we've got a nice uh, fabric material lining the entire thing which uh, feels really nice it'll keep your instrument you know nice and uh, protected keep it from getting scratched things like that so you've got some of these um, little cushions here throughout the throughout the case just to keep it when it's closed um, keep it from rattling around moving around which you definitely want you don't want this thing being jarred around inside the case you know same padding up here down here as well uh, and then slide compartment here keep the slide in there nice and out of the way uh, which I kind of prefer to some of them have the slide up top um, and that's fine but when you close the case then the rest of the instrument you know the bell section can sometimes hit up against the slide um, again if you have a pretty good case that's not really going to happen but uh, i have seen it happen before on ones where the latch comes off for the slider etc uh, etc et so it's nice to have it kind of separated off here so that, that doesn't happen uh, and then of course bell would go here you've also got another um, compartment here so that you can put you know your mouthpiece or accessories whatever you want in there that closes shut velcro for safety and then there's also a secret compartment under this little flap so you can put other things here we've got some some slide um, slide grease and oils things like that so that's kind of nice to be able to have a little bit extra room that would be actually really handy if you have um, pep band music in your little flip folder or something your liar you know you can stick that all in here cover it up and be good to go so that's pretty handy and then on the back we have um, this material which is kind of just a, a breathable pattern you know for your back because it's got backpack straps. 
which I think is super neat because, you know, bass trombones are fairly heavy as far as, far as uh, instruments go, you know, especially compared to something like a trumpet. So even though it has nice handles and all, it's a lot better to uh, be able to just throw this thing on your back and, uh, and, you know, take it to class or whatever, which is great. I did that all the time in college. You know, I had to go across campus for all of my, my classes and then my bands and whatever. And having backpack straps is a huge plus. And you just chuck it on your back and go. So that's pretty nifty there. So when you take the straps out, then this would go over or under the straps, and then you get this nice um, cushiony, breathable material on your back, which is just kind of a nice, a nice plus. So overall, really nice case. It's really sturdy. It's obviously a, a hard shell case. Um, and like I said, it's got straps for a shoulder strap, uh, if you so choose, which is really great. Also a small note, it has um, this on the back, this handle which is pretty nice, you know, it doesn't hurt to have a handle here, especially if you're standing it up on the bell, you can have this handle for grip to pick it up, move it around, or if it's going in a locker, this makes it a ton easier to pull, um, to pull it out. So that's definitely a big plus there. So big fan of the case, it looks uh, really nice. So that's just another great feature this comes with. So there you have it, the Eastman ETB 848 bass trombone. Uh, so again, this is a great option for um, students who are maybe going to college or an advanced high school player who wants their own horn, but doesn't quite want to go up to all of the custom stuff yet. Um, so these are great for that. And they're also one of the nicer instruments in this price range, you know, kind of a low, you know, maybe say 3000 range around there, give or take. Um, so great option in there or even for a school band if you're a director who's saying yeah i really want you know a, a nice um, bass trombone to have at the school you know maybe just for the orchestra you know and you don't want to have to try and get again the super high-end stuff and worry about it getting beat up in the school system and all that but you don't quite want the low end of an old bach or something this is a great option you know they're they're um, more affordable and just really solidly made and just play great. It sounds awesome. It's got a really um, directional punchy sound as well um, that can get really mellow if you need it to. Um, but especially with the rotors, that makes it a lot easier um, to get good articulations and things. You know, it's a little bit tighter than something like uh, an axial horn would be. You know, so if you're using it for jazz band and um, orchestra, this would be a good option rather than just having one with, um, with Bayer valves. So anyway, so great horn overall. Um, definitely something to look into and I'm gonna play a couple um, little etudes on it to give you an idea of how it sounds and thanks for watching <laughs> Thank you. 